Hey guys, we got a 2009 Buick LaCrosse, and the complaint was it overheated. He took it to a shop. They told him the water pump, the thermostat, and uh, the bypass, the water bypass, uh, needed to all be changed. It was about $1,200 worth of work. There was something about it he didn't feel right about, so he called me up and asked me if I wanted to take a look at it. I told him bring it on over, and uh, other than it being about a gallon low on oil, uh, I don't really see anything wrong with it. So it, it's clearly got a leak. Uh, the water pump and the thermostat seem to be working fine. So I've got a new tool that I'm going to get to try out. <laughs> the, the ironic thing about this is I just got this in the mail yesterday. And we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to see if this thing's going to be a benefit or not. Look at that. If we can find a leak. It's a nice just push on. I did, like I said, I put about a gallon of uh, I don't want to make you guys sick, so I'm going to put the camera down. Put about a gallon of water in it. Then I let it run, and it did not overheat. So I'm confident the... Uh, we'll go to about 15 PSI. I'm con let me get a flashlight. I'm confident that the uh, water pump and thermostat are fine. Everything is looking good so far it is holding pressure so wh whatever's leaking it's not leaking fast that bypass it looks like it may have been leaking but I do not see anything leaking out of it right now and this, for a 2009 this is a very clean car I don't see anything leaking. Thermostat housing all looks good. I don't see anything wet other than right below where that where I filled it. belts needing to be changed heater hoses look fine do they why is that why is that discolored like that That's just the way that is. I, mean, I don't see any evidence that it was leaking back in the back. Hmm. That little bypass, see that little plastic piece right here? It does look like it's got just a little bit of water coming out of it, but I cannot tell for sure. 
and it could be sometimes these uh, leaks whenever you put pressure on them that actually seals them off and it's not until it drops so low that uh, they start leaking and this has got the bleed so you just hit the hit that to bleed it off so I think I'm gonna like my new little uh, as long as it proves to and if you look down here at the bypass elbow you can see a slight leak ever so slightly it takes a while for it to get low enough to, to start getting warm but we're going to replace those elbows so basically what we're going to do we're going to remove the uh you got two 10 millimeter uh nuts up here to get this overflow take out of the way and we're just going to set it over to the side uh we'll remove the belt we'll get the alternator out of the way and then remove the tensioner assembly which is what's got the uh the bypass tubes going into it uh, first thing I want to do is make sure that there is no pressure on the system. Uh, I'm just going to keep my adapter on there because we're going to fill this uh, through that. So I am going to replace the belt also. Normally what I would do is try to keep enough tension on the belt to where I wouldn't undo the belt from the lower pulleys. That would make it easier to put the belt back on. But I'm just going to take the belt completely off. I'll probably snap a picture of it so that I can remember how it goes. Uh, that way, uh, if I need to revert back to the picture, I, I can guarantee I get the belt on right or as easily as possible. So let me get set up. Let me get some tools, and we're going to get started on this vehicle.